When people give themselves away, it's by little things. That woman over there, she's not sneering at her coffee. She's recovering from Bell's palsy. And the cashier at the coffee place, she doesn't want anyone to know, but she's dying of ALS. There's a particular sort of twitchy, stiff arm that's characteristic. And then there's you. Why aren't you wearing the cross? I told you I left you it. You keep and... jewelry cleaner under the sink so you won't have to go a day without it. True, you forgot it that morning that our pipes burst. But then you went back and waited through the flood to retrieve it. So, why not waiting today? I didn't bring a book to read or something. Nothing. Caffeine pills and amphetamines. Same stuff he told us he was taking. And type max. anti convulsant He said there was no history of prior seizure. It's not even prescribed to him. It still doesn't explain his fever. He's probably just using it for weight loss. It just gives us another lie. He must really be devoted. Should we check the hunt? He wanted to hide something from his wife. Why wouldn't he hide it in the office? And maybe she's hiding something. Nothing but aspirin and flu meds in the bathroom. Looks like this stuff's been sitting here for weeks. Mm, home improvement. He probably thought he could take the project on, then realized it was a little more than he could handle. You got a point to make, or did you just feel like giving a long, unnecessary explanation for something medically irrelevant? What happened to the foreman who always has an answer? The guy who practically wears a sign saying, I'm as good as House, but I'm nicer. I never said that. I guess it's safe to be confident when House is there to overrule you. Now that it's all on you? <laughs> it's different. Yeah. Either you left it behind on purpose, or by mistake. The only reason you leave it behind intentionally is if it no longer meant anything to you. But since it was a gift from your mom, that would mean you had a fight with her. And since you don't talk to ghosts, that's unlikely. Leave it alone, Greg. Yeah, I'm good at that. So that leaves forgetting it unintentionally. But then we have to explain why you didn't go back for it when you realized. I didn't realize until I got to the airport. Nope, you were wearing makeup when you got to the airport. You can't put on makeup without looking at yourself. And you can't look at yourself without touching that thing. What does this matter to you? It's an anomaly. Anomalies bug me. And you're gonna suffer. I think it's his stomach. <laughs> I teal it a jump. Is it something you ate? Uh -uh. He keeps doing that. Mm. I? Are you hungry? No. No, he's in pain. Is it a sharp pain? No. Uh, uh, teal, indigent. Taste? Yes. Uh, uh, metallic taste? Yes. I'll be right back. Oh! I suppose it's also possible that the class broke. Then you'd be carrying the thing around in your purse. We had a fight. We had a fight, and I was angry and not thinking straight, and I walked out without my makeup and without my cross. And I stopped at the drugstore to buy makeup, but I couldn't buy a cross because they don't have an aisle for personal talismans. So you had a fight. I'm sure it'll blow over. It was about nothing. Of course it was. Mark's tired. He's worried. He's got mobility problems. It's normal to blow up over little things. I don't mind fighting over little things. I don't even mind fighting over big things. That I could understand. We fight over nothing. You know, a mailbox with the sign that says last pickup 5 p.m., does that mean last pickup to go to the post office or last pickup to leave the post office and be sent out of town? You fought over mail delivery? I tried to get him to drop the subject, but he wouldn't. I told him he was right. He thought I was being condescending. You were. He's pushing me out of his life. Maybe you're misinterpreting. Did I misinterpret with you? At least this time I recognize it. That's the benefit of convincing the only two men you've ever loved. They're better off without you. Yeah, it's all your fault. 
You know, Stacy in the original Greek means relationship killer. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face. I look like a grown up again. Hello. It's for you. House. Do you know your phone's dead? Do you ever recharge your batteries? They recharge? I just keep buying new phones. I thought you should know your aphasia guy's tasting metal. Where's his creatinine? 6.8. He's got kidney failure. Cameron's got him on dialysis, and he's stable for the moment. Unlike Cuddy, who's suicidal. It's either meningitis or encephalitis. Or maybe autoimmune. That's perfect. Seems like you really narrowed it down over dinner. Here's the plan. We talk to House. I've been trying. He's not answering his cell. It's obvious we have to do the lumbar puncture. There's no choice anymore. You have to do it just right. What are you talking about? Either you've decided to do a lumbar puncture, or you have to fire me so that I can't fire all of you as soon as I get back in charge. It's Cuddy there ranting. If I'd known you'd be out of contact... They can handle it. Right. So far, only three organ systems have failed. OK, they can't. Doesn't matter. The guy's not stable enough to move. So go rant in your own office. Fine. Call me when you're done. What do you mean by doing the LP just right? We're not going to screw it up. The odds are this guy knows something we don't. He could know the answer to the meaning of life. The man can't communicate. Have you had any indication that he's tried to communicate something important? No. It's because you guys haven't scared him enough. I'm sure you've been all, all will take real good care of you. Why should he say anything? When you prep him, tell him he's going to die. Crush all hope. Don't let Cameron do it. Cuddy, you got a problem with any of that? <laughs> 